everyone. Welcome to this quick start session on using your comment line interface. In previous lesson, I explained about what is Python, why did I choose Python for you, and the Python's history. I put the lesson one links for your easy access in the description as well. Before we dive into installing anything like Python, it's essential to first understand the basics of how to navigate your system using the comment line. The comment line is a text-based interface that allows you to interact with your computer by typing comments instead of using a mouse or graphical interface. It's commonly used by developers, system administrators, and power users to run programs, manage files, and configure systems more efficiently. For example, instead of opening a folder manually, you could type CD documents to navigate to it. This is especially useful when running Python scripts directly from your terminal or comment prompt. Think of the command line as a tool that lets you move through folders and files on your computer using text-based comments. In this quick lecture, we learn how to check your current location or directly View the contents of the location, move between folders, and clear your terminal screen. It's worth mentioning that the comments can vary slightly depending on your operating system. In this lesson, I have explained using comment line in Windows operating system and I will prepare a short lesson for Mac and Linux operating systems in the near future. Remember, the only difference here is the syntax, but the concepts are exactly the same. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel to give me more motivation to produce more educational content. Thank you. Go ahead and jump to your operating system section and we'll continue from there. Let's walk through how to work with the comment prompt on Windows. To open it, go to your search bar and type CMD. This should bring up comment prompt as one of the top options. If that doesn't show up, try searching for comment prompt in full and launch the desktop application from there. Once it opens, you should see a black terminal window with some basic information and a prompt line. Let's begin by finding out where we are on the system. This means checking our current directory you can do this by typing CD and pressing enter. Although the comment prompt usually shows the path, running CD gives you a clear confirmation, which is helpful in complex setups, like when you are using virtual environments. For example, my prompt shows I'm in C users, ISEN. That means I'm in drive C, folder users, and subfolder ISEN. To see the contents of this directory, like files and folders, type DIR and press enter. Now you'll see a list of everything in the current folder, documents, desktop, downloads, maybe even some hidden files, which is noted by starting of a dot. Want to move into one of these folders? 
just type cd and then the name of that folder so if i want to jump into desktop i would type cd desktop now if i run cd again I'll see that I'm inside the desktop directories. To move back one level, type cd space dot dot. This lets you go up to the parent folder. To clear the command line screen, type cls and press enter. It will wipe the screen clean for you. Let's quickly review. CD shows your current directory. DIR lists what's inside. CD folder name moves into a folder. CD space dot dot takes you back. And CLS clears the screen. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel. See you in the next lesson which is installing Python step by step.